Hi. Welcome. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this third episode of FASO Student Talks. Um, today we have not one, but two guests. We have Brendan and Peter from Maastricht Diplomat, and we're going to talk about, well, Maastricht Diplomat itself, but also about um, the upcoming elections, the student representatives, journalism and student politics. So um, could you maybe introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah. Um... My name is Brendan. I, uh, Brendan Hogan. I uh, started with Master Diplomat three years ago, and uh, last year uh, ran the podcast. And this year, um, together with with Peter, running the whole association. Yes, um, I'm Peter. I have a very similar career in the Master <laughs> Diplomat uh, as Brendan has. I also joined the Master Diplomat uh, almost three years ago, and last year I was uh, co-head. That means kind of the the bit of like the secretary of the of the journal, I would say, but I was also very concerned with um, the journalism on on student politics in particular, like that political side of what we are doing um, in our journalistic work. And this year, together with Brendan, I'm head of the journal. All right. And uh, what what are you currently studying? Uh, you you study at FASOS, right? Yeah, I study at FASOS. I do, uh, do European studies, um, and I'm currently finishing up the BA. I'm studying European law, also trying to finish up. All right, so we don't have a FASO student here, but it's fine, <laughs> he can join us today. Um, and actually, why Maastricht Diplomat then? Why did you decide it three years ago to join it? What was the main reason? Um, so for me personally, I thought um, that, that was kind of my, my first contact with really doing journalism. Obviously, I'm, I'm reading newspapers, I'm, watching TV, all these, all these. So I, I obviously consume journalism a lot, but it's not something I had ever done. And I thought it's an interesting opportunity to me, uh, for me to, to, to learn, to grow, and to kind of get an idea of what it means to be a, to be a journalist. And the nice thing about the MD is it's completely student owned. So all of our members are student volunteers. And uh, we run everything, we run our blog, we uh, organize the printed editions, we organize interviews with, with people in Maastricht. Is or... there like a, like a supervisor or someone from outside or is it a student, only student? So different? we are part of a student association. Um, so within that, we have kind of our place, but also that association is completely run by students. United Nations. Uh, the United Nations Student Association, association. exactly. So we're one part of that. But um, all of our members are students um, and every, every person that works for the United Nations Student Association or the MD is all student volunteers. Mm -hmm. uh, what different roles do you have inside uh, MD? Because uh, you're doing like the journalistic part, but I've seen you also have podcasts. So is there like a, do you have different associations within MD, like marketing, like communications or... Um, so at the UNSA, we have a bunch of different committees and they're all, um, for example, we have a marketing committee, a events committee, um, we have a development committee, etc. And the journal committee is one of those. And so within that, we don't have necessarily different subcommittees, but we do have, um, kind of a, uh, we have a head of journal who mm -hmm. is Peter, um, an editor, uh, we both are, are the editors and um, some some people to help us. For example, we have one person who's head of, uh, who's the editor for audiovisual and one person who's kind of the editor for uh, uh, the social media. Okay, so only one person for the social media. Yeah, well, they have a few people that work with them, but um, uh, there's the specialization kind of, it, it doesn't become too, uh, too crowded into one, so two, um, what's the word I want to look for? Um, kind of Boxes. split up. Uh, yeah. The podcast slash audiovisual team, they do their own thing. I've um, seen pretty good work because I also saw in the website that you wanted to like increase your social media presence and make it more like video oriented. So mm -hmm. your Instagram is full of very well done interviews and videos slash podcasts. Thanks. Uh, we've been working. We've been working on it. Um, so we're happy. We're happy to see that it's actually uh, coming out um, well. So yeah, that that's the kind of overarching how it's organized within the committee. And then we also have writers and editors where we produce, uh, well, student journalism. 
and uh, everyone can enter in the, the association or it needs to be particular someone with a background in journalism or politics um everyone can enter uh the idea is not that we are like a student journalist uh, a group of professional student journalists really <laughs> that this is kind of the first stepping stone and kind of tasting session for uh, for people who want to get into journalism, perhaps, uh, or communications, or PR, or something like that. Yeah. I think one of, of the nice things is also that almost everyone who uh, has been with the MD kind of comes out as a better uh, student writer or podcaster in general, like a better journalist than they entered. Um, certainly for me, I had no experience with student journalism before I entered, um, so. Yeah, here we are. Same. I mean, I also, uh, the podcast started three years ago, and I joined that off the go, oh, off the off the off the get go. And um, yeah, I, I had nothing. I had no idea what 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 to do. Like, I had absolutely no clue. And now, you had now someone I have... that helped you at that time that told you, well, you you mm. should learn these. Less skills. so. At that point, we all didn't know what to do. Ah, uh, okay. so we just learned it together. And uh, now, hopefully, uh, we can transmit what we've learned to the next batch of of uh, student journalists. So it's really nice to you actually see what you what you learn. Sounds very good. <laughs> um, uh, I know that the elections, the Maastricht University elections are coming soon uh, in May. What is your preparation for the elections? What are you what is your plan? Are you going to make some videos about all the um, all the other parties or mm -hmm. what do you normally do? So we started our journey into uh, political, student political journalism in Maastricht, mostly last year. And um, so then we started getting in touch with the different student political parties. We, we contacted them, interviewed different candidates. Mm -hmm. And that's something we kind of can build upon this year. Um, so what we will do in uh, on the 12th of May is a debate between the candidates who are running for the University Council. Mm -hmm. So this year there's four lists running for the University Council. And from each list, we invited one candidate to debate the current topics that are relevant in the university, that are relevant for the elections. And uh, apart from that, we also cover the elections in different ways in our, in, in, on our blog, on our audiovisual section. So we are writing different articles. On, on what's going on during the elections, what are the party programs, how does student journalism, um, how does student politics work? Because we felt that that not actually many people know so much about the councils. I certainly didn't know very much because uh, before I, I, I went and read a, a bunch of pretty hard to find documents. Yeah, like so the, the number of people the university at statues, yeah. the election results, all of that is not super easy to find. <laughs> so what we're trying is kind of to get out to condense that into a into a more comprehensible and more accessible uh, format. So uh, that was also one of the first articles we did last year uh, that I wrote kind of a student politics 101. Really, I just wrote up look, this is the University Council, this is how it works. These are the results from the last elections, because all of this is is not very easy to find out. And or at least it's a time investment. And I, I know from personal experience that most students don't have too much time on their hands to to research. But it should be something that interests students because it's I mean, the politics it, it can within be super relevant. the university. I mean, I, I think I think the, the University Council really I mean, they are in touch with the executive board of the university, the rector, the the um, and and the, the president, and uh, they're in touch every month. They have these sessions every month. They can talk to them. That that doesn't obviously mean that the that the university council can just go and decide things, not necessarily. But they are the ones to to carry the student concerns to the executive board, and I believe that the more the general student body cares, the more weight their work will have. Because if 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 they can also work on, on the assumption that so many students are behind them, they know what the students want, they know that their, their cause is supported, obviously they can come yeah, to the executive board with quite a different, um, in quite a different position. 
Okay, uh, so we are uh, reaching the end of the talk and uh, I wanted to ask you if you want to leave a, a last message to all the students out there that uh, need to vote soon uh, or in general to everyone interested in Maastricht Diplomat. What would be uh, your message to all these students? Well, if you have an opinion, you can always reach out to us um, about it. But we have a, a debate coming up for the, for the elections. Um, um, no, I don't want to get the date wrong. <laughs> <laughs> we will leave it down. <laughs> 12th of May. 12th of May, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, uh, where hopefully we can find out a bit more about the parties and what they stand for and how they're different or how they're, how they're similar. And if you're not sure about how the, you know, what the council does, then have a look on our website. Peter wrote a very, very good article. Um, uh, <laughs> And What's the name of the article? The, 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 the article is called Student Politics 101 on MaastrichtDiplomat.org. In general, of course, uh, if, uh, follow, follow the blog. We will write about what's going on in the elections. We will write about the parties, what they stand for. Also, all of the parties have social media accounts. They have websites. Go check that out. Um, so. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for being here and talking about Master Diplomat and your experience. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thanks for having us. <laughs> Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having us. Yeah.